Hey everyone, welcome to my nursery. I'm so excited to finally be filming this for you. Um, it's been such a labor of love and now that Ama is here and we've turned it from a nursery just for Evie into a nursery for the two of them, it's been just really fun to do and I've really enjoyed finding things from Etsy and from kind of special stores I think and filling it with um, with that stuff, just more small, small shop kind of things. Uh, so I'm excited to share those. I'll have everything linked below for you um, And yeah, so we're doing this just in time because Evie Now is cr crawling out of her crib and it's time to switch to a toddler bed So if I don't film this now, it'll never be seen <laughs> So it's sort of like finally finished and it's time to say goodbye So <laughs> in this bittersweet moment, I'm going to show their nursery reveal <laughs> So starting in this corner, um, which is just our little kind of nook. Um, so I've had this rocking chair for forever. We got that on everything but the house, which if you're not familiar with, you need to check it out. If it's in your city, you can get the most amazing furniture for the most amazing prices. It's estate sales. Um, I highly, highly recommend it. I've gotten a lot of furniture I could have never afforded because of that site. So definitely worth looking into especially if you're liking vintage stuff i love vintage things so it's right up my alley um let's see okay this blanket which is like a pom-pom uh faux fur blanket i got from um home goods it's super snuggly i love it i, I really go there a lot for throws and stuff like that at um, a discount hi boo hi boo boo <laughs> um I got these hooks um, from Wayfair, I believe. Everything will be linked below. So um, these are Amazon, these uh, swan hooks, um, or hangers, I mean. Uh, this is from um, an Etsy store called House of Gangi, which is just precious, and Ama is sporting the matching newborn set right now. Uh, this sweater is also from Amazon, and it's just gonna hang nicely until our little Evie is big enough to wear it. Uh, these flowers are from Pottery Barn, as is the white birch branch um, above it. And I love it. Anything that kind of makes things more 3D, I think, just brings the room to life. And I really wanted this room to have sort of um, a forest feeling, something, you know, like a little bit magical and something that was like had creatures and things alive. So I'm not, it's still not all the way finished to me, but I don't think I've ever been finished with anything creative. So <laughs> that's nothing new for me. Um, this I got a long time ago at World Market, but I believe they actually still sell it if you if you look it up. So um, that's this corner. Uh, then this starting from the top, um, the mobiles we have in here are from an Etsy store as well. And they're just so precious. I think this little woman, it just does the most darling things. Um, so definitely have to check her out. Um, the curtains, the curtain rods are from Amazon as well. And I just dusted some gold on the, um, the balls at the end. I can never remember that name, but you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so they, they were just cream when I got them. These curtains are actually wedding backdrops. Um, I got them on eBay uh, and I wanted a lot of fabric that would really pool at the bottom so I could really have a sweeping effect around the windows without having to pay a lot of money for, for good fabric. Um, that kind of has a little weight to it. And so backdrops are a really good hack if you want to save some money. Now we did have to split them down. They come obviously with the um, um, see with the opening so you can put a rod through it but we did split them down the middle and then uh, have to finish the inside um, but they just do such a great job if that's something you um, kind of want not just more like cookie cutter curtains from wherever and then this crib is I think it's something an Aurora 
Um, it's a long name, but it's just so beautiful. It comes in ivory and gray and uh, I think the pink, yeah. Um, but this, there's a sheen to the uh, finish on on these cribs. And they are made out of wood, but I don't like the sheen. It almost makes them look plastic in my opinion. And so I painted this um, ivory to match the others. And I use a brand called Eco Paints, which I highly recommend. If you're concerned at all with um, emissions or um, anything, you know, you want, if you're concerned with that, then it's a great, great brand to check out. And I will again have that linked below. And they're extremely helpful when ordering, but they're also their website's super easy. You just go in and you can go down for the nursery paint. And I believe it's among the, fa the safest on the market. So, anyway, uh, that's what I use. I like it because it's more of a matte finish, which is just my, what I prefer. Um, and then moving on down, this the crib bumpers are from Etsy. Uh, the um, if you want to take a look in here, um, this I'll have to link below the Moses basket. I want to say it's Wayfair as well. Um, the swaddles and everything will be also linked below. I try, I just got a ton of them. I'm a little obsessed with the swaddles. Uh, this is also. Um, an Etsy store and I love these things. I just kind of, I have a few of them and I've got them everywhere. I put them on her uh, car seat and in different places. They're just so handy because they clip on just like a passy clip. Um, this basket is from Pottery Barn uh, and they're just really, really cool. Um, I love the chunky pattern, but they're hard, they're like sturdy, so it's not gonna, you know, get frayed and and yucky. Um, this is a pad that's sort of like a day pad um, to go over just to sort of finish the um, crib. We got that from um, Everything But The House um, and it also came with the bed skirt and a few other things that you'll see on Evie's crib. This is Ama's crib um, in a set and these things are finished. I mean I don't know how much it would have cost if we had bought them new. I'm, they're exquisite. I could certainly have never afforded them. Um, so I would just felt like I feel like it's a gift, basically. Um, so yeah, so that's how we finished the crib. Okay, so the bunny here is also from Pottery Barn, and I had it inscribed. It says Evie on the side. Um, she has not really played with this very much, <laughs> so hopefully when she's a little older she will, I don't know. Um, the rug is Wayfair also. And then coming to the corner, I got these, um, these are actually, what's the word, you know it, what's it called? Corbells. Corbells. They are corbels, which is actually what you would use. Um, you see them like in kitchens to hold up molding or to hold up um, a fireplace mantle or things like that, or even on the outside of a home. Um, I So they're enormous, but I love them for the nursery and I ended up painting them um, so that they would match everything. So it's an idea for a shelf if you wanna do that. Um, the bunnies are from an Etsy store hard candy gift. They are absolutely exquisite. The woman who does these crystal is incredible. It's just, her work is so, uh, the detail and, and the quality of her work is probably better than anything I've seen. So I'm just blown away by, away by this woman. So she does these adorable bunnies and a lot of other things. Make sure you check her out. She's incredible. Um, and then the frames there are from Target. The um, wand up there, the fairy wand, is um, from an Etsy store. Not sure where I got that frame, and I, I'm not 100% sure, but anyway, yeah. So that one's been there for a while. And then moving on to here, changing pad cover is from um, the same place as the uh, sheets and everything. It's all a set. Another Etsy store, I love this. That, I love um, finishing things that otherwise would sort of bother me or seem undone or seem like anything that is sort of in plastic or in something disposable, I like to see if I can make 
or find something that um, makes it sort of nice to look at every day. And otherwise, I'd like to find a way to put it away. Um, so that's my sort of, that's usually what I do. Um, this I got from Amazon, and I'm loving this little set. Uh, it was only about 30 bucks, so this is an awesome find for me. I'm obsessed with Burt's Bees things. I, I use them primarily for my girls. Um, I use a, <clears throat> excuse me, a Think Dirty app, the Think Dirty app, when I'm looking for products. Um, especially for my girls. Um, it's It does such, like, I don't have to stick with one brand or be sort of in the dark, and I don't have to find out what different ingredients are. It just gives me a number. It explains what they are, and if it's green, if it's sort of in, um, I believe it's the one to four, one to three or one to four um, range, then it's, like, good to go. And so Burst Bees always, for the most part, I believe, qualifies definitely in everything I've bought so anyway I stick with those and I'll do a video on my bath time routine and products and things especially that I do for the newborn um so and then this I got from home goods uh uh actually no it was Michael's um and I just put this together it's got little twinkly fairy lights um we've just had the teddy bears for a while and then over here here's another bunny also uh crystal from hard candy gift did her rattle which is personalized um and i just love it so much um yeah so that's a vintage here i am thing that was actually for my mom when my mom was born and then moving over here i got some wall decals um which are these white branches which you can barely see because the, I did not realize that it's so, so it's sort of a fail but I still love it um they I didn't think they would be that subtle but they are pretty subtle um I got those off of Etsy as well and again we've got the mobile here this is Evie's crib which we got from everything but the house um and it also came with a changing table, uh, and it's just, I love this crib so much. I, I guess it just holds a very special place in my heart. Um, and then, again, with the um, Etsy, Etsy, I'll link everything below. And then this, uh, the bumpers were from Everything But The House. This, these teddy bears I've had since I was a little girl, so everything is sort of hammy down there. And then this... Bow Pillow is also from Etsy, which I will link. I did so many things from Etsy, I could never keep all the store's names in my head. Um, yeah, so that is everything. Um, oh, the chandelier. Uh-oh, uh where did I get the chandelier? I want to say, I will double check. I believe it was Amazon. It was either Amazon or eBay. Um, I'm almost 100% sure it was Amazon. And it was a joke putting that together. <laughs> it came in so many pieces, but it was so worth it. So that is the, that's the nursery. That's everything as it is now. And uh, yeah, I was joking with my mom. I should um, film Evie coming in now because um, I've been having to keep her out of here while after I got it cleaned up because it would take her, it will take her probably maybe a minute to completely destroy this. So we may or may not film that here at the end. But anyway, thank you so much for watching my nurse reveal. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope it inspires you maybe a little bit, especially to, um, you know, that there's a lot of things you can do yourself and find in other ways. Um, just sort of use things for one, you think is for one purpose for another purpose. Uh, I did everything on a budget and was able to kind of pull it together uh, over time for, you know, not so much. So anyway, I hope maybe you found a few tips. If you have any questions, um, please let me know in the comments below and I will see you in my next video.